Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. It's September 25th, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right is Brock Shimano. Brock, let's jump into fire tip here. Take a look at these live quotes out of Chicago. Right now we see corn and wheat both trading lower. Wheat the leader to the downside, really on continued trade chatter about the Russians not limiting export sales here. That's really been a developing story that we've been following here for a while. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Soybeans right now at the moment trading up about three cents. Not a lot of news there. I think the trade right now is digesting the numbers we saw come out yesterday afternoon in the crop progress and condition report. What are we looking at there, Brock? We did get the latest installment of the USDA's crop progress and condition report yesterday afternoon. Harvest pace on corn is about 39% complete. Ants we're looking at about 38 to 40% complete on harvest. Where we should be this time of year is 13%. So we're quite a bit ahead of uh, the previous record pace in 2010 and where we should be for this time of year. Soybeans, similar story, 22% complete. Analysts were looking for about 18 to 20%, so we came in a little bit above what the analysts were expecting. I think that's weighing a little bit on soybeans this morning. Where we should be on the five-year progress or five-year average is 8% on the harvest progress for soybeans. If you take a look at the charts we've been watching all harvest uh, season long, you can see here the red line is where we are at currently this year. We're actually increasing that record pace that we're on. 2010 was the previous record, the blue line. Where we should be this time of year is actually the green line. So you can see that we're quite a bit ahead of what the right. previous record was and where we should be this time of year. You know, Brock, very similar story here out of soybeans. We're well ahead of pace right now uh, where we typically see beans at this time of year. And ahead of that record pace that we set in 2010, you know, as you said earlier, we came in about 22% harvested right now. The trade was expecting 18 to 20%, so a little bit on the, you know, above expectations there. One thing that this is important to uh, is, is related to the frost freeze threat. We saw that coming to the market here over the weekend. It looked like some beans were damaged in North Dakota, areas of Minnesota, but nothing really substantial. But certainly the very fast pace that we're harvesting this crop is going to help get those, uh, get those bushels in the bins and out of the weather here in the near term. Uh, if we kind of turn our attention right now, we do. We are wrapping up our crop here in the U.S. Time to start turning our attention down to South America. Right now, they are expecting between one and two inches of rain in Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso do Sol, and Piranha here uh, just today. So the top three producing uh, soy states in Brazil there, getting a good drink. And if we take a look here at where Brazil is right now in terms of uh, kind of the seasonality of soil moisture right now, kind of lingering effects here of the drought that we saw um, last winter here. They're about four inches behind and in particular the trade's going to be watching the circled state here. That's Mato Grosso there, the top producing soy state. They're about four inches behind right now but with these rains coming in we could certainly make up that um, make up that gap quite quickly here. We're going to have to keep an eye on that though as they get planters rolling down in South America. We really saw the effects of a shortfall out of Brazilian production hit our market here last winter. So we'll keep you posted on that on Grain TV. I think that wraps up our show here for Tuesday morning. Thanks a lot for joining us on Grain TV. We'll see you tomorrow.